Hi, I'm Alex. Um, this is my Technic creation. Um, it walks. <laughs> so, I've seen some of these kind of around YouTube, just um, when I've been looking through some people's things. And I thought, um, I'm going to try to make one. So, this is what I got. It uses these gears, and as the motor turns, you can see how the the beam goes down and then back up and down. And then I used um, a three long stud, three stud long, and then these just spacer pieces. And it kind of holds it in place so it doesn't, you know, go all over. Because it doesn't really work when it's like that. But when you can hold it in place, it also gives it wiggle room so that it can actually go to different angles. And then this is it walking. I also put a face on it because, you know, cat, dog, whatever. Um, it's kind of funny, but. I have it geared down quite a bit right now, so it's kind of slow. But, as you can see there, it walks. So. It's a pretty simple design. I have these two um, frame pieces and they're two studs apart. And then I just have the gear with these attached and then just kind of connect it all together. Um, you don't need a differential or anything. I wouldn't add one of those. But, um, so yeah, the motor is just on the bottom. It's geared one to five here and then, um, one and two thirds to one here. So it is quite slow, but it makes it so you can see everything. And then, yeah, that's mainly everything. Oh, I also added, um, added these pieces here. They're kind of like rubbery pieces. They're kind of flexible. So I added those so it would, um, I just added them like this. And they're kind of flexible and rubbery so that they can get better grip, but they're not needed. You can kind of just make it walk without them. But then it also kind of just uh, slides around, which is fine. It's not really a vehicle. You're not going to lift any, any really thing on it because it kind of, uh, it walks. It, it kind of balances. So... Depending on where you're at, it'll move, but you're not going to put anything on it because it kind of does kind of go like that. And then if you're going to build something like this yourself, something to know is that, so for each um, leg, so you have one axle and then one axle. So this at the back axle, you'd want these two to be on opposite sides. So you see this is here. This beam is connected here, and this beam is connected here. And that's really important to make it walk properly so that they go in opposite directions. And then it's the same thing on this axle, except it's reversed. Because you want these two to be... Um, so you think of it like width-wise and length-wise. Length-wise, they need to be opposite, and width-wise, they need to be opposite. So these two are mounted on the same. So... This one and this one are mounted on the same, and then this one and this one are mounted in the same place. And that's what I found to be the best way to get it to walk. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep working on the design, make it better. But for my first walking vehicle, this thing's pretty cool. Um, and I'm using the Kata set. This is Kata motor, Kata battery box, and Kata um, remote, just so you know. It works completely fine with Lego, though. It's just going to be a little bit weird um, adding the battery box. It's just going to be a bit different. But that's about all I've got for today. Once you understand everything, it's not too complex.
So yeah, it walks. Didn't know I could do this, but I did, so that's pretty cool. It's also a good way to terrify your cats. They hate it. They go up, they sniff it, and then they run away. It is quite stable though. It's not as stable as a car because on a car you have all four points of contact all the time because it's circular. Um, but this kind of wobbles around a bit, but um, I'm also thinking about um, making the legs longer. It doesn't really matter the leg length, but um, these are nine studs long, just so you know. And yeah. Oh, and then the motor's just got these T pieces and stuff. So that is all I got for today. And I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I lost like eight subscribers. Just, it was really weird. It's not like I even got eight views and then they just unsubscribed. It was kind of just like, they just were gone overnight. Really confusing, but so just, if you are subscribed, check if you're subscribed. Might be unsubscribed, I don't know. Um, but I hope you enjoy the video. If you liked it, like it. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that. Um, that's pretty nice to actually see people, you know. Um, the main thing I'm going for my channel is views, not because, you know, I want to be a famous YouTuber. But it's nice to know that people have seen your builds and, you know, they actually... Pay attention to it, and it's not just your family or whatever, so. That's pretty cool. So, thanks for watching, and have a great day.